All right, we are surrounded by crackers. I'm Florida Cracker. I'm the Saltine Avenger. I'm Graham Cracker, and we are playing for the Genesis. One of our favorite role-playing games ever. Shadowrun! Aw, oh, yeah. Made on a variety of dates, apparently. Apparently. <laughs> yeah, there's like five different years down there. I think, it, I think this game came out... Shadowrun came out in 1989. I know it went through a slew of different companies, held the rights. I think Sega made it in 1994. I think that's what that says. And then 2099 is when we're going to release this, play, this yes. uh, Let's Play video. Yeah, we, we so. can't release apparently until 2099. So. That's when the NDA is lifted. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so if it comes out before that, somebody else did it. It wasn't us. It's a leak. That's uh, right. We have a leak in the Surrounded by Crackers. <laughs> right. My God. All right. So new game. Uh, we got a couple different uh, archetypes here. This is the class in Shadowrun. We got Samurai. We've got Decker. We've got Gator Shaman. Uh, you know which way I'm voting. Uh, gator, gator Shaman. Gator Shaman, obviously. The call yeah. of the Gator. We would love to play Decker uh, because we really want to show off the surf and the net in this game. We feel that's one of the iconic things. Correct. Future. You would love to play Decker. I want to play Decker. I happen to know that you can just do it through contacts. Yes. So Samurai because we're I want gonna this game us, to be playable. Yeah. We're, we're going to do this apparently on easy way we're gonna do the samurai it's not easy it's it's still not easy possible way. That's a story time january 31st 2058 place seattle ucas under the cover of darkness a team of shadowrunners move through a salish hide wilderness uh. without warning they are ambushed by unknown forces uh. Uh. the massacre is over quickly but capture on trivid by one of the slain members cyber eyes uh. i'm dead the tribe was recovered and made national news. Michael, your brother, was left to die. Man. Spending your last new yen to go to Seattle, you vow to avenge your brother. I think is what that said. Yeah. Uh, brother's, brother's I love death. this opening. Ah, there we go. This opening is so cool. I'm already so pumped. I'm ready to avenge the death. Look at that helicopter. He's not even my brother. <laughs> Landing at SeaTac Airport, you flag a cab to uh, blah, 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 last known transaction, first credit stick. Stoker's Coffin Motel, located in the Red Barrens. So, Redmond. Redmond Barons. Redmond Barons. There we go. The headquarters of Microsoft currently, by the way. Redmond. Is it? Yep. Huh. Intriguing. Been there. Been there. All right. The battered sign reads Stoker's Coffin Motel. Motels like these are cheap, and each room only large enough to fit a small bed. Dumps like these tend to attract the dregs of humanity. That's one of the reasons this game is so great. Uh, in Shadowrun, in general, the flair. They they always get that that flavor text in all their stuff. I love it. Yeah, and the one-eyed dwarf. Look at him. Just right. staring you down. He's squinting you. Look at you. The manager yawns. I won't bore you with the welcome speech, so what do you want? Just looking for a place to crash. I'll talk to you later, chum. I'm here to pick up Michael's stuff. See? So, you're Michael's brother, huh? Your bro skipped on paying his bill, and I'm holding his stuff till I get the, ba or get the back rent. Let's make a deal. You pay up the 250 he owes, and I'll fork over the stash. Small change. I'll slot the cred, and I'm gone. Two fifty. How much could he have had stored in one of these rooms? Hey, if you need new yen, head up the street to the jump house. Gunderson is always looking for runners. You'll find him in the booth towards the back of the bar. Convenient. The jump house. Oh yeah. Sounds like a crazy bar. Jump around. Possibly. Jump no, around. I mean, most bars in Shadowrun are pretty crazy, though. Yeah, this maybe it's true. just crisscross the bar that crisscross started when they moved to Seattle in 2058. <laughs> <laughs> the Jump House is a typical small bar inside the Barrens. The standard slime frequent it, and occasional Shadowrunners sometimes slip in its entrance. You see a fat man licking his fingers in the far corner booth. Delicious. Why has he got to be a fat man? Because he's eating that KFC. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some KFC. Uh, oh, that's why. I mean, look at that guy. Just look Boy, at friend, him. don't be so obvious. Right. Old Stoker likes to toss my name around, but if you want to stay healthy in the shadows, you'd do well to just refer to me as Mr. Johnson. All right. Yeah, he uh, he looks like a fat guy. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm looking for some information. I'm looking for some work. I'll talk to you later. He's chum. got crumbs on his forehead. He does. No, he's like the, the he's chips. sloshed crap crumbs. all the way up to his forehead. He's got. Oh, he's got chips. micro crumbs. He's, I, well, they're My not tortilla crumbs. chips. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're looking for work. So you want to go on a shadow run, eh? Well, old Gunderson's got a beauty for you. 
go to the or go to see the Halloweeners and the Redmond Barons. There you'll meet my client, Mike Nana. Wonderful name for that guy. And Mike right, Nana. Mike Crotch. Escort, <laughs> escort my client to Jackal's Lantern and the Redmond Barons. You will be paid up uh, by my client upon safe arrival to the specific destination. Fantastic. You're offered 50, 50 for the run. Million. After negotiations, you come to an agreement of 50 for the run. What do you say? Not like we got a choice. Mr. Johnson logs the run on uh, his pocket secretary and downloads the information to you. Thanks, my friend. You keep coming to me, and I'll keep you running. So Boosh. That was so kind of cool. Find the Halloweeners, and we have to take some guy to some other place. Yeah, that like this game where you can sort of negotiate the price, because uh, there, there's like different skills that you can use in the game and level them up. And yes. so, like, if you get good at negotiating, you can maybe get more money per uh, per run here. Indeed. Which is, you know, it's something you don't find in a lot of Genesis games, but this is kind of cool because it's based off the pen and paper RPG game. Indeed. I'm yeah. glad that they kept. It too. I think I think it's it's uh, worth mentioning. A lot of the stuff here is straight out of the first and second edition books of Shadowrun. Lone Star has this area cornered off. Badges swarm the area with serious intensity. You decide it would be wise to leave until the heat dies down. That seems bad. All right. Indeed. I thought the Halloweeners were down here somewhere. Maybe it, yeah, maybe it's that one. Lone uh, Star. No. No, the Halloweeners were in the bar next to the uh, the jump house. There's was two it? bars in a row. Mm, okay, let's right, go up there. Because that was again. like the the jackal's lantern, right? Something up, like that. Up. Some guy's trying to jump you. You want a piece of this bitch? Oh, shoot him down! Damn. Boom! Ooh. Look at that four shot. Got some gold. And Halo, Money. that's like MLG styling, bro. Four shots. <laughs> there we go. Ah, uh, here we go. The jackal's lantern serves as a hangout for the Halloweeners street gang. It is a disgusting bar and may think or many, many think, think twice before, before entering enter. for fear of gang harassment. Harassment. <laughs> well, this place looks awesome. <laughs> Who's that guy? Hmm. A rat-like dwarf is here. He stares at you in silence. Yeah, look, look at it. So does his cane. <laughs> his <laughs> yeah. cane is just a snake rat. <laughs> yeah, it is. I'm looking for some information. I usually don't share such things, but I guess I could tell you something. What's your story, chummer? I lived in the Glow City all my life. I was slumming in the sewers, but it got me nowhere because I had no purpose. And because everyone has, or everyone was larger than me. <laughs> then I heard my totem calling. I have embraced the power. The power of the rat. Uh... Rat has shown the, or that force is not the only way to success. <laughs> When I find some companions to work with, I'll be able to use my talents to finally get out of this dump. Okay, so everyone was bigger than you. You um, were living in a sewer, and then you decided to follow the rat. That was your way out? Yeah, How man. does that work? <laughs> the rat always knows the way out. I'm assuming out. we need some questions answered. Like what? Uh, I'm assuming we need to know about Johnson's. All right, tell me about Johnson's. And that, not the mm, baby company. Wait. Hmm. <laughs> You're in a bar talking to a guy about a Johnson. All right, Can you go. tell me about a Johnson? <laughs> yeah, sure. Gunderson's a Johnson. I've used when I need some quick new yen. Okay. Who <laughs> <laughs> works next door at the jump house, he does. His payout is as bad as his smell, but his runs are a piece of cake. So long as you uh, have some firepower handy you, uh, when things go sour. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, I don't actually care anymore, so yep. let's talk about a different subject. Uh, I'm looking for a good runner. Care to sign on? Mm. Only if the job is a simple job. I don't like to fight. Uh, never mind. I charge 155 <laughs> for a single run. No. Nope. You can cough up 1,550. My services are at your disposal. Uh, I'll talk to you later, Chummer. That's my money, bitch. No so he, sweat. He doesn't, like, he doesn't like to fight, and he's like asking for three times what you're making on this run for one run. <laughs> Pretty much Get right. out of here, you old rat man. Alright, here's somebody you gotta talk to. An old man flashes his gums at you. His foul breath is air freshener er, his foul breath is air freshener compared to the stench of this withered body. Uh, you decide to find a booth on the far side of the room. Oh, so this wasn't the guy you gotta talk to. So no. I thought this was the Halloweeners place, but I guess it's I thought that's what it said. Apparently not. I Apparently uh, this is where we're going, I guess. Oh, so you gotta take him for... Well, check on the uh, little data I think pad it there. was north. 
Because we just went south last time. Yeah, so here's the screen where we can equip stuff. Indeed. Mm, and, pocket yeah, secretary. pocket secretary. Notebook. And, yeah, current, current run. Current run. Current run. Okay, body the Halloweeners and the Redmond Barons. Is there no map. Michael Nana. Okay, so we got to find the Halloweeners. Yeah, I thought it was that, that trash thing on the bottom there. That uh, house made out of trash cans that you went I to. I thought it was. Well, maybe it's on the other side then maybe in the bottom. Maybe it's over here. Oh, maybe it's over there. Oh, oh, this is the toxic waste place. Yeah, this is the more, much more dangerous place. <laughs> Just made Seems of toxic like waste. It. Yeah. Here there we go. Hey there. Or, hey, there you are. Boy, am I glad to see you. It's getting so a guy can't walk the streets alone. Well, let's get moving. I'm on a tight schedule. And if anybody tries anything cute, you wax them. Do I make them into a statue? So this was the job that you took from a Johnson, where a guy can't walk the streets alone. You're going to wax anybody if they... There's a disturbance up ahead. in the force. You glimpse someone taking your picture with a holocam. The person quickly disappears into the crowd. Uh -oh. Fantastic. Uh-oh. Well, that seems good. Okay, so where are you supposed to take this guy? <laughs> I think the bar. Yeah, oh. Oh, okay. I'm assuming that bar we were just Oh, at. no! Someone's trying something cute! Wax him. The hell he is. You he didn't is. wax him, you just shot him. That's not the same thing. No. So I didn't bullets. have my turtle wax. Wax bullets. <laughs> Thanks for the escort, chummer. Here's the creds uh, for Run Well Done. I'll be sure to tell all my friends about your services. All of his uh, friends? <laughs> I just escorted. Yeah. He just paid me at a bar, and he's going to tell them about my services. Uh, I'm a little concerned. I'm yeah. a little concerned. You're a man whore. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So basically, every time we enter a place we've already been, it says the same thing. So we're not going to read it over and over and over again. But okay. anytime something new comes up, we'll try and read it for you. Hopefully, we won't read it over and over and over again. If we forget, we might just read it again. 